United have made have made an offer to Vincent Abubakar on loan and obviously he wants to join Manchester United and maybe he might be the first striking option that Elton Hag is going to go ahead and really launch or sign at Manchester United. Then there is a story concerning Lisandro Martinez talking about him and Rafael Verani after the World Cup and everything really panned out and lastly we're going to talk about Memphis Depay wanting out of Barcelona. Welcome to United Matters channel. Rock and David is my name. Good evening, good afternoon, depending when you're watching us from. This is the first video of the day. Yesterday, United played a very big, beautiful game. We won that game by three goals to one. And I'm surprised to hear that there are people that are really saying that we played poorly. Guys, we never played poorly, but Everton were really playing for their lives because they are playing for their manager to stay. That's it. That's why the game of football is like that. But I believe if it was not that... Howler coming in from David De Gea, obviously they don't score any goal. That's it. Would have kept a clean sheet. And if we had kept a clean sheet, no one would have really come out and said that we played very badly. But we played very well according to me. That's game of football that you really want to watch as a fan of United. An end-to-end -end game, an open game because... Eric Ten Hag went ahead to sabotage the plan of Everton when he really saw Anthony score in the fourth minute. Meaning that everything was sabotaged and disrupted. Lampard needed to come out and play on the front foot and playing on the front foot meaning that you have to expose yourself and open up meaning that more openings were available for the team for the team for for the team of Everton and United went ahead to tear them apart if we are too much clinical in the first half would have gone ahead to be like three two goals up so that's what happened at Old Trafford but we've gone ahead to win seven games without losing a single point. Remember those seven games include the game against Aston Villa for two, the game against Fulham to one, the game against Burnley to nil, the game against Nottingham three nil, the game against Bournemouth three nil, the game against Wolverhampton Wanderers one nil and the game against a team known as Everton 3-1 at Old Trafford and obviously Rashford is one of those that is really running rampant scoring goals in goals out looking like he's our golden goose that is leading that is laying golden eggs for us under the Eric Ten Hag era now let's get into the Vincent Abu Bakna. we know very well that Eric Ten Hag confirmed us that if Ronaldo stayed, he wanted one more striker. If Ronaldo left, he wanted two, meaning that we are having a vacuum of two strikers at Manchester United. And you see, that has really caused Eric Ten Hag to play Martial sparingly because every game, Martial is averaging like 60 minutes, meaning that the manager has to play him sparingly because he's the only one he is having on the field of play. Now, we had a story coming in from Saudi Arabia concerning Vincent Abubakar. Manchester United have made a loan offer to Al Nasser FC striker Vincent Abubakar. Fanabachi have also made an offer. This is OK's online coming in from Saudi Arabia. And people, I've seen people coming out and be downplaying Abubakar that is not worth joining Manchester United. And I'm asking myself, are you really knowledgeable enough about this guy? You need to get acknowledged about this guy. Because you wouldn't come out and say what you say about visit Abu Bakr if at all you never knew him. This is a man who scored five goals in the African Cup of Nations. That is, that is in the January of this year. You know that very well. After that, he went to the World Cup and scored three goals. So, this guy is really a very good player. I've noticed him. Good in the air, good with his feet. And if I told you want to go ahead and really disrupt certain teams, you need a striker like Abu Bakr because he's aggressive, he's a beast, he runs into space, and he really has a very good work ethic. And I think that is what Ten Hag will go ahead and really look at. Now, Vicent Abaga himself has said he prefers a loan move to Manchester United over Fanabachi due to the strength and desire of their offer. So, I've always told you that any African player who grew up see United, Triumph, Arsenal, Chelsea, and so on and so forth, would love to go out and really play for a club known as Manchester United. And for me, I would go in for Vicente Abubaka. You get? I would go in for Vicente Abubaka, and then we see to it that we really settle up on the deal of Joe Felix. And the deal of Joe Felix is really in Joe Padre because Arsenal have now decided to go on and really get the deal of Joe Felix done before they get in a player 
called Mokalo Modric because they know it's really going to be hard to learn it as soon as possible and they need a solution in the next one week. So, to me, I believe when you get in Vicente Abubakar by the beginning of this week, it gives you an option in the game of Man City. That's it. I know people might not be fancying him and not knowing him at because he's African, because, you know, there are racists and they, they have their choices. But this guy in front of goal <coughs> for Manchester United really gives us a lot. You'll find out that we are going to improve on our crossing game because you'll know that you are having a player like Vincent Abubakar who can really win those aerial duels. Secondly, he is a threat at really running at defenders. He's fast, he has quick feet, and he can really do a hold-up play and play with his back to goal. This is the guy that really went in the World Cup and really played three games and scored three goals. Yao Felix, to me, however much you want to bring him at Manchester United, they are contenders that really want him. I would love to see Yao Felix and Abu Bakr come at Manchester United, but first things first. If Abu Bakr decides to leave Al Nasser because they want to register Ronaldo and is coming out and he wants to come to Manchester United, get him in. Those are just six months. He's not going to be here for so long. Everyone who is really arguing about Yao Felix, bringing in Abu Bakr wouldn't have really locked the door for Yao Felix to come in through because Ten Hag needs two strikers. So Abu Bakr comes in through. That is good. Bring in Yao Felix or Memphis Depay and everything is going to work out as you want it to be because you need different strikers. In the game of Man City, if Abu Bakr signs this starting week, we are going in for United. In that game of Man City at a point X, you are going to need him because you'll know that if the plan A fails, I have a plan B from the bench. What do you do? Get off Anthony. Switch Rashford onto the right, Martial onto the left, Abu Bakr leading the line. What is your desired target? Getting those crosses from Diego Delo and Luke Shaw to find Vincent Abu Bakr. As Martial and Rashford really try to utilize the half spaces to see to it that they create space for your fullbacks. That is Dalo and Shaw. Even Marcus Rashford and Martial you tell them that if at all you see to it that you can't really take on the players of, of Man City because Man City will always create spaces, you either go for that long ball and Abu Bakr will get you the lead. So, it's not every game that you're going to win it with decent players. That game of Wolverhampton Wanderers, if you have a bully like Vincent Abu Bakr, you find very many ways of panning out a result. But if you don't have a player like him and having Yao Felix only and Martial, they are almost the same kind of players. You get so I believe we need a player like Vincent Abubakar. We are going to play teams like Barcelona. Sometimes you need a bully to put him in between that central defense of Barcelona, of Garcia, and uh, maybe George Conde. This guy will come in and bully them down and we take them to the level of really conceding goals. So I believe everyone who is really dissing the signing of Abubakar to Manchester United is just naive about this transfer. He doesn't know what this guy is all about and they are having less information about him. You get but if at all you know what this guy is all about, I could recommend him to come at Manchester United as soon as possible, as early as today. Then next week, we chase the deal of either Memphis Depay or a player called Yao Felix. Then we'll be really full into that position. Because where we are going, you won't know what's going to happen to Anton Martial or Yao Felix. And Yao Felix has a problem with physicality. He might struggle in the Premier League. He might find it hard to fit into the Premier League and obviously that will really lead him not to really get us the levels we want to be. So I think it's better getting Vincent Abubakar on a loan, he's cheap, then getting another player known as Yao Felix or Memphis Depay to Manchester United. Now, as far as Memphis Depay is concerned, we are having a story coming in from Barcelona that the player really wants out of the club. And we've been told Memphis Depay wants to leave Barcelona and return to Manchester United. Barcelona are looking to recoup money for Memphis Depay. However, United are looking for a loan and are yet to make a proposal for Memphis Depay. Now, no loan for Memphis Depay. Memphis Depay had agreed to terminate his contract with Barcelona. They agreed that in January, he is going to move out on a free. Though Barcelona are really trying to shift goalposts every time. Now they are telling us that they want money. But I believe 
the amount of money they want from Memphis Depay is not more than 1.1.5 million euros or 2 million euros. I believe if you are told much Manchester United and you fail to get in your Felix, get him in with Vincent Abubaka and get everything to the level that's supposed to be because I believe the more options you have up front, the more chances we are really increasing to really go ahead and go into the title race. Get in Vincent Abubaka, all your Felix, all Vincent Abubaka and Memphis Depay you are having lots of options up front because Memphis Depay can play on the left, right, and even centrally. So, Vincent Abubakar will help you lead the line and obviously get you winning in these games. And games that require physicality sometimes, you'll need him to get him to get you through these hard hard blocks that are being made by this team. So, I 100% believe that Memphis Depay coming in at United would be a very good addition to the club and Vincent Abubakar. But the January transfer window really looks lit up for United. Very many options are viable, but it depends on who Ten Hag wants. Obviously, Yao Felix is the number one choice for Eric Ten Hag, but Arsenal is also trying to push hard. Now, who is winning the battle? It's God who knows, because United can't be trusted as far as money is concerned. They want to put a bid of 4 million euros loan fee to Atletico Madrid for Yao Felix and pay his entire salary. Now, what is Arsenal going to go in and really present onto the table is also something great because the player has gone ahead to strike. He has not trained. Now it's coming to two weeks with Atletico Madrid. He has not trained with them. No, it's coming to like six, seven days. He has not trained with them. And he was he never played into the Copa del Rey game because he was not included in the match squad. He wants out. George Mendes has been in Spain for the last 24 hours. He wants to see that this deal comes to materialization. And I think the only the only two the only two points we have ahead of us to sign the player is George Mendes. George Mendes has always done business with Manchester United and he would love his player to come out here and get enough playing time. Secondly, I think when you look at Arsenal and Manchester United, it's Arsenal that can really, it's Manchester United that can get him enough playing time that he desires. Reason being, Arsenal, when Jesus comes in back, I don't know how the manager is going to go out and really pan it out. But for United, he can play in the front three of Martial, him, and Rashford. Or sometimes Martial can be benched and then Yao Felix starts and then Martial comes in later, depending on the game situation. So, I believe we are having the upper hand ahead of Arsenal in the signing of this deal. Now, you remember the World Cup. It was Argentina versus France. Lisandro Martinez, team Argentina beat France. And obviously, Rafael Verani felt really disappointed. But he has gone ahead and really told us what what they talked about with Rafael Verani and what happened on their hugging after the World Cup final. Lisandro Martinez told us that we shared that hug and it was important because football is like that. What happens on the pitch stays on the pitch, but what happens off but what happens off, it is just as important and relationship like that counts. So he's confirming to us that they really talk to one another and he really told him, please feel free of going back to Manchester United. Maybe this this trophy was not up for grabs for two teams. It was up for grabs for one team. And when we go to Manchester United, we are going to be playing for one team. And that one team, if at all it wins, that means both of us are winning. So Lisandro Martinez and Rafael Verani are really great. And yesterday we saw Rafael Verani play 90 minutes against Everton. Lisandro Martinez came in through and really played a role into that game of football. And United won it by that a number of goals, that amount of goals that we are three to one. So we expect this partnership to return exactly in the game of Man City. Lisandro Martinez, Rafael Verani to go on and read with the need for. And I believe the manager is trying to manage Lisandro Martinez very well. He gave him like five minutes in the game of Bournemouth and he was given a standing ovation after winning the World Cup and presenting the medal to the fans of United. Then after in the game of um, Everton, he played like 20, were they 20, 15 minutes? And now here he is going to play on Monday because I know Monday is going to start. That's it. He's clear. On Monday, starting against Charlton, I think he's going to play the central defense with Victor Lindelof. That's it. So let's wait and see how that pans out. But your reactions to Abubakar offer 
from United is welcome in the comment section below. Then Depay wanting out of Barcelona and he wants to come to Manchester United. What are your thoughts about it? I want to know. And lastly, Rafael Verani and Lisandro Martinez. Thank you guys for watching in through. First video of the day. More is yet to come. And obviously, we are going to let you know of the latest news and information coming in from Manchester United because it's coming in slow, but I believe we'll get more and more and more as the season goes on. I'm out for now. See you later. May the Lord bless you abundantly.